Good morning. Since yesterday, we know that there is great and fantastic compliance within the OPEC and non-OPEC um, uh, countries that actually said to decrease their oil production by um, the, the weekend when non-OPEC and OPEC members meet or met for their compliance meeting. 1.5 million barrels have already been cut in production. That is 80% of the total amount, which is um, something actually positive, one might assume, but the price of oil was unimpressed. There's still a top information in the four hour candle chart, a head and shoulders pattern, which could bring us down to $49 should the neckline of that top information be broken. Speculators on NYMEX in the WTI contract are as long as in the year 2014 or even more on the long side. So very, very long positions there. The expectation is um, very much that the price will go up. So if it doesn't, then there is a lot to uh, a, a lot position, a lot of positions to be unwound. The price of copper, the speculators there are at record long positions. Even everybody speculating that Trump will, with his infrastructure investments, bring in more copper demand. But here we also have that Trump reflation, Trump whatever trade, Trump trade um, with the price of copper. If the price of copper should start to go down, then this would be a good signal that this Trump trade is being unwound. 8% uh, of the S&P 500 um, companies have reported their earnings. 65% of those that have reported their earnings cited the administration, and that is Trump administration, uncertainty in their outlook and regarding the business. And so it's all about more or less uh, what the details of what, Ma of, uh, what Donald Trump will do um, that will lead us into this uh, trading week. There have been some uh, weakness in the DAX yesterday. Some thought that after a run-up in prices, it might not be a wrong thing to take some profits off the table. No, as we say in Germany, nobody has ever died of taking profits. So that might be the mantra going into this week. We have from a uh, cyclical standpoint, the um, honeymoon rally on Wall Street that ended on the 20th of January with the inauguration of Donald Trump. So that might be that this year it will be the same, that the rally on Wall Street needs to consolidate and correct further before we can have another leg upward.